just got done flying for the third day. Got two toes. It was pretty exciting. Did a did a sat. First sat ever, which was exhilarating. Super super spin master action going on. It was highly exciting. And now you'll see that. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go guys. For this one, we're basically going to put it into a downward spiral and right as it's about to get into the fullest part of the spiral, pull real hard on the brake and it flips it over to where the opposite wing tip is down as you can see. And basically you just hold it there and you can kind of control the angle at which you spin by applying more or less brake. And then come out of it, you just basically release off of the brake and start to pull opposite brake. And uh, you don't want to come out of it too fast or you'll pit really high and then you'll surge forward and then you can cause a collapse or do a frontal collapse <clears throat> on the wing. So basically I just round it out into like a normal spiral and then kind of wait and bleed off a lot of the energy there until you come out flat. going on kind of go through it with you so I'm pull 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 and then right as it starts to dive you can see I pulled really hard right there and take it to flip over the other side and spin around like a maniac release that side break pull on it pull the spiral come out of it when you're in the spiral you don't want to maintain in the spiral too long because you start to lose a lot of altitude even more so than when you're in the sat but uh, you got to make sure you bleed off enough power. So, I mean, or enough speed. You can you can come out of it sooner than I did on that one for sure. But lots of fun here nor there. And so for here, we're just doing a little bit of weight shift wing over practice action. So basically, just using weight shift to get it started. Which, we, if you have a motor on your back, there's just not enough. Um, weight shift available really but uh, in a free flight harness look at how much you can get it to go side to side just using weight shift I wasn't even using brakes I still got it wingtip on the horizon so and here I'm obviously using some outer brakes and both brakes just to keep collapses from happening because <clears throat> they do want to happen pretty easily if you don't have the right amount of speed and uh, the right amount of weight shift and everything so you got to make sure you maintain the correct amount of speed for the correct amount of brake input and it's definitely tricky to get the timing I'm not good at them but that's something I'm gonna practice here at home some more now that uh, I've been doing them there I want to get a reserve just in case something bad happens but yeah they're pretty they're pretty awesome fun to, to practice for sure Club to meet up with Marco yes, to make party, as he says. This should, be, uh, this should be an interesting evening.
Shit. I gotta fly today. <sighs> that was a terrible idea. Oh no. What have I done? This is the local Mexico scene over here. We've got the, the villa, if you will. We're separated by a barbed wire fence. And the Chicos are over there. And the Senors, Senoritas. So this is the last night. Gotta say goodbye to this place. A little oasis paradise here. Who had to drink all that stuff just to make a border for a garden? That's a lot of work. That's some serious work there. Someone had to get really drunk just so they could have a garden edge. There's a lot of it. the entire time so at last home sweet home not stuck in Houston so that's good news so I'll see you when I get there well finally made it home guys after a long trip through the night had to drive to the wee hours of the morning got home just dead tired so obviously went right to bed but I'm here now so everything was awesome the trip was fantastic hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the other side <laughs>